My name is Ava Woods. I'm a seventh generation uh, Barravillian. I live at 300 Only Key Tr Trail in Pasco, approximately a half a mile from the proposed power plant. I want to thank you for um, hearing us and, um, uh, and our concerns and fears about the proposed Ivergeny Energy power plant. I want to start by telling you my story. Um, back in uh, 80s when the, uh, I lived in Harrisville when the Ocean State Power Plant was proposed to go in my backyard. Um, my husband and I and a small group of neighbors did all we could to stop it from going in, but we were obviously unsuccessful. We were distraught and didn't know what to do. Um, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. and. Uh, we, one night we put our, our children to bed early in order to get them up in the middle of the night to watch the shooting stars, something that we do as a family. Um, but when we got them up, it was impossible to see the stars because of the lights of OSP. Um, that's when we decided to move. I uh, asked my husband to find us a place where we, this could never happen to us again. So Bob found 48 acre parcel of land in the middle of George Washington State Park and we moved. It's now 2016, and a gas fracked power plant using MTBE contaminated water is proposed about a half a mile from my front yard. I am the only house on only Keach Trail. I live in the middle of a park. Now, for the second part of my story. When Pasco had the fiasco with the MTBE contaminated water, my niece, her husband, and daughter lived on Sales Avenue in Pasco. That story you heard from uh, the young woman, she wasn't the only one that that happened to. Uh, Mike and Becky have both fought cancer and their daughter has had uh, tumors removed from her face. Now this power plant wants to unleash this MB, MTBE on the citizens in the town of Barville in the form of a supposed clean vapor. We have research available from California, as um, Frank Silva stated, um, that it cannot be done by the filtering process that Ivergeny is proposing. It took California 12 years or more to clean up their well, and it cannot be done the way that Ivergeny is stating. I have already had family members who have had cancer from this stuff, and I do not want to see our family or any family have to face this again. That well is supposed to remain sealed. Another big concern has to do with what we're already facing in the area of the noise and air pollution um, from Algonquin. I don't know why this is um, in three separate uh, stages, or I don't segmented, I'm segmented as um, Algonquin, who is already exposing us to um, natural gas being uh, pushed into the air, and the noise that they're um, already put in is above what it, uh, what it should be. Um, they're violating the town noise ordinance um, now, and they are spewing this gas into our air. Um, who is monitoring, monitoring this site for noise and air quality, and what additional noise and air quality problems are we facing with the next uh, two steps? I want you to please consider the impact on our water, air, and environment, as well as the quality of life of the citizens of the town of Barville. I want you to think about George Washington Park, the Boy Scout Camp, the Feinstein Camp, the Last Green Valley, Wallam Lake, Wilson's Reservoir, Pasco Reservoir, Pulaski Park, Quadic Park, all within a mile radius of this power plant, and that's just to name a few. The destruction this power plant will bring to this sensitive environment cannot be overstated, and we ask that you not allow this to happen. Thank you.